What'd you get? A. What is that one from? Uh, a. A dare. The wine dots? Yeah. They had two in it. You're already doing your chores? They had two in it. You got two in there? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wine dots. Today, I just thought I would turn on the camera and just show you kind of what we do on a normal basis. Uh, we got a lot of things to do sporadically throughout the day. Uh, yeah, so come along. Yeah, but that dill is what you put into cucumbers or what you put into pickles. We didn't even have to plant that. That just came back last year from yeah. last year. Right yep. Awesome. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> I'm more used to going like this. Okay. Like yeah. <gasps> Please don't do that to those. Please don't. Good morning, everyone. Lacey here. Here's Eli. He is just finishing up all of our morning chores, just watering our raised beds this morning. And now that we're done with all that, we can go inside and go see what everybody else is doing and eat some breakfast. Day long? Yeah. Promise? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. As a mom of many, I always got into the habit of buying one extra of everything. That way I could stock my pantry. And in recent years, that came in really handy because when you were only able to buy one of everything, that was not going to feed my family at all. It came in really handy. So, um, uh, rice, flour, beans, oatmeal, things like that. I would always just buy one extra of um, because those are the things that I just can't grow. And I don't buy or I don't store things in bulk. I always like to package them as like, um, instead of doing five pounds of rice in a bag, I will do three cups of rice in a bag so then I don't even have to think about it. I grab a package from my pantry and throw it in a pot and that's just a meal for us. So um, that's my thought process on this whole, this all, all of this. Is that funny? <laughs> Again? Oh yeah, burp, yeah, that was a good one. Whew. We have two vacuum sealers, but only one works. So we have one vacuum sealer. 
that was pretty sad whenever we um, got these out last night to test this one. We were given this one and we were super excited about it. But then after we cleaned it and everything, uh, it just didn't work. So disappointed. Yeah. Anyway, so instead of being super quick about this, we're going to have one to help us out with. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's good. Oh, all of them, okay. Yep, and then we're going to stick this in there whenever we need one. Okay, so Etta is opening the bags, putting them in a line. Emmalyn is in charge of putting these in. Ezekiel is in charge of taking the bags out of the vacuum sealer. And Ethan is in charge of sealing our bags. And my, I mean, Mom does the bags. Yeah, and I'm filling the bags. So, and Mom awesome. gets yeah. Ethan. Good job. Adeline, if you could open these bags for her. Yeah? Okay. I wish I had that job. Why? Because I'm not that. you got to be quick at your job. You have the quickest job. So we all say one, two, Box of noodles is one meal for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grab it on the bottom. Okay. Now flip it over. Uh -oh. So you'll keep going. <laughs> uh -oh. Bots. Good job. <laughs> we made a lot of progress. That looks better than it did. Now we have a mess to clean up. So many of you know that we homeschool our kids. We actually homeschool from August to about March. That's usually just how it ends up. Uh, we kind of push through all those public school breaks and we're able to end in March, which is great because that gives us um, extra time to do other things outside like prepping a garden or having babies outside. There's just so many things going on in springtime, so it just works out. Uh, from about April to July, I'm not too strict on this, but two to three times a week, we'll run through a review, and that's kind of what we're doing today. Amelia is usually the most eager to get this done because she wants to be done first all the time. So got to get all the kids in here and round it up to get theirs done too.
starting room. Today has just gone by really, really fast, <laughs> but we're getting things done. So let me just sit this somewhere. Fantastic job. Pretty cool. Awesome, is it super heavy? Mm, not so much. Okay. I used our fish tank water on these guys and they like shot up really great. Yeah, they're a little bit like, but not too bad, not too bad. So I am just doing that again. Just kind of like fill up each bottom right there. So, I came outside to plant some seeds. I'm not doing that today. Um, the wind picked up. I am sure that you can hear that. Uh, my hair is a mess, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. <laughs> we're just gonna change plans of what we're gonna be doing. Maybe tonight the wind will die down and maybe we can plant some seeds then. But right now, we're not gonna be planting anything. I did look it up. It's like 60 mile per hour right now. And I don't think you believe me when I say it's windy. It is windy out there. <laughs> anyway, so um, two weeks ago, I asked Austin if he would fix my dresser in our bedroom. The drawers, they just don't work anymore. They're made out of particle board stuff. So I asked him if he could fix it. Um, it was pretty much not fixable. So I asked him if he would build a dresser and I even suggested using pallets. He did glare at me a little bit. <laughs> But um, if you've taken apart a pallet before, you know what I'm talking about. It's just a pain. Um, but we did it, and it took a while. It took a full day to do, and our bodies were a little sore. But we got some dressers. He did so good. But he um, he didn't like that they were the boards were like wobbly. They were twisted. Uh, so we used all the wood from pallets. So far at this point, I think for the drawers, we're gonna actually get some decent wood to go in there. Um, I think they look fantastic. I don't know if I'm going to stain them or not, but I do know that I need to sand them. So that's what I gotta do right now. but instead of sowing seeds, we decided that we would just weed the garden because it's just too windy. No matter how eager I am, I know to wait because otherwise our seeds would just go all over the place. So we're weeding the garden, we're feeding them to our rabbits over here, and hey, do I, what? Do you want to do all this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, well, there's a strawberry! Yep, we gotta wait till it turn white. These are pine berries. Oh, three more! Two yep. more right there. Ooh, those are gonna be tasty. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 I like these two. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then Tiny? Is it ready to be picked? No. You sure? Yeah. Oh. No, it's not. But this one might be if it was red. Yeah. But that's a spinach. That's a spinach. The only two spinach that came up in that whole entire row. Nope, don't, yep. Mommy, the rabbits, yes. They won't like that. Can I have that? The rabbits, the dying. Yeah, yeah. Mommy? Yeah. Wait, can I feed these two rabbits? Yeah. I am a kid. Why? <laughs> I love my rabbit. You're gonna be a rabbit today? No. Oh. If you go in that cage and be a rabbit, 
We'll just have to feed you grass. And carrots. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, but <laughs> he's not a rabbit. All right, guys, I think we are done being blown to bits. I think we're going to go inside. We're going to go eat some tacos and call it a night. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.